How you doing? You believe in Jesus Christ? I do believe in Jesus You do? Give me, give me Isaiah. So, what? how do you feel about the enslavement of the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? How do I feel about what about it? The enslavement, like, uh, when Christopher Columbus came over here, he, he killed, right, right. you know, he murdered all the Indians and things of that nature. Yeah, what's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? American. American? Caucasian. Caucasian? Okay. So how I do you don't feel? agree with it. I don't agree with it at all to answer your initial question. Okay. All right. All praise this. Because, you know, slavery is bad, right? But do you feel like um, anything has, like, has the people who did this to these people had any repercussions for their actions? Probably not proper repercussions. Right. So what do you feel should happen for that? Yeah. Sakari. 1715. Yeah. On them street corners yelling out, where the BCV? Uh -huh. Ain't no John Cena nigga, cuz you can come see me. If you ain't an Israelite, then you ain't kin to me. And if you don't come from Jacob, nigga, use the enemy. That's right. On them street corners yelling out, where the BCV? Ain't no John Cena nigga, cuz can come see me if you ain't an Israelite, then you ain't kin to me. And if you don't come from Jacob, nigga, use an enemy. Christians, they just mad because the Gentiles going in slavery. Mm. Boy, you don't know no Bible, you know nothing about sociology. Uh. Look, just sit back, I'ma put you on eschatology. The way that I've been studying, yeah, I know the most, I'm proud of me. I don't even know. Shit, shit. All right, first thing first, I'm gonna say, call a lawyer, how? Bye, shit, my shit, we'll like y'all shop. Right, that just means all praise to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. How y'all brothers doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Yes, What's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? Hispanic. Hispanic. All right, all crazy. So, what, what, yeah, what, uh, you all see yourself on this side? Yeah. yeah. What y'all like, uh, Mexican? Yeah. Mexican, yeah. so y'all be from Trump and Sakaar. Did y'all know the Trump and Sakaar is uh, Israelites in the Bible? It be Deuteronomy uh, 28, 15. Give me 2nd Edges 13. Right, because the Mexicans are all Northern Kingdom brothers, because y'all think it's the Northern Kingdom. So every every uh, tribe that go down from here is considered Northern Kingdom. And these tribes right here, they was in Jerusalem, you know, uh, at the time of Christ. So this would be the Southern Kingdom, right? So bring this out, because y'all went into, how you think y'all got over here? Like when Christopher Columbus discovered America, y'all was already here. Why? Because y'all ran into slavery to the Assyrians before that, but y'all weren't going for that because y'all left them. Look, read this. This, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter thirteen, verse thirty-nine. Uh -huh. And whereas thou shalt, thou sawest that be gathered among another peaceable multitude unto no, no. him. Those ten tribes. Okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. that was gonna be the you go, you go. Gone. Verse forty. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. So y'all was carried away prisoners out of your own land, right? Talk about Jerusalem. Right, so there's the ten tribes, right? Keep going. Khan. Out of their own land in the time of the king of Osea, the king, uh -huh. whom Salmaneser, the king of Assyria, right. led away. So, so the king of Assyria, he took y'all into captivity, right? Keep going. Khan. Led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. Right. And so came they into another land. Right. But they took this council among themselves. So they took y'all on ships. You know what I'm saying? But y'all had this council among yourselves, like, and y'all was like, man, we not about to be slaves to these niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So y'all had this council that y'all would leave the Assyrians, you know what I'm saying, to go to go where? Keep going. Con. And to go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. And let's talk about America, because before America, before y'all went, got here, nobody was here. That's why I see y'all went to a land where nobody dwelt. That was it on that? Keep going on that. Right. That they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. Right. And they entered into the Euphrates by a narrow passage of the river. Uh -huh. For the Most High then showed the signs for them, and held stood the flood. Till they were passed over. So they said the Most High showed y'all signs. Why do you think uh, when you go into like the Aztec culture, y'all was good at like reading the stars and the moon and shit like that? That's the sign that the Most High gave y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's the Aztec they even had a calendar. The Aztec. That's what Aztec means. Yeah. Like people of the time, uh, people of the signs. Okay, so 
I ain't know that. See, Aztec mean people are the signs, right? Keep going on that. For through the country, there was a great way to go, uh -huh. namely a year and a half. Right. And the same region is called Arsereth. So America, in this biblical context, his name is Arsereth. It's not called America, right? So, you know, y'all took this council to come over here from the Assyrians because y'all went to captivity because Lord the Kingdom was an idolatry, man. Y'all was not serving the Most High God. The Most High God we're supposed to be serving, his name is Yahweh, and he's a black man. Y'all knew the Most High God was black. Y'all knew that? All right, bet. Uh, give me Tobit uh, 12 and 10, right? Give me Deuteronomy 20 and 15, right? Because the, the position we in, like, if you look at the world right now, how else is it doing? Know that y'all is like y'all people, members got to have faith in Christ. Right, so, and when you go around the world and you look at all the nations of the earth, bro, why are we at the bottom? You see, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're at the bottom. Why? Because the most high put curses on us because we didn't keep the commandments of God, right? Do, give me that, Deuteronomy 28, 15. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So boom. Moses, the, the, Moses, he told he told us, he was like, boom. You got the you got good and you got bad. So either y'all gonna do what God say, or you're not gonna do what God say and y'all get these curses, or you're gonna do what God say and get the blessings. We obviously didn't listen, so that's why we're going through what we're going through today, right? Give me verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Wherever you go at, you know what I'm saying, on the earth, and you go to the hood, you will see our people that why? Because that's the curse that God put on us. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Read the second part. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. We was the only one in the field picking cotton and, and sugar cane and tobacco. We was growing that for, for another nation. You know what I'm saying? So they can profit off the sweat and, and tears off our back. You know what I'm saying? So... Y'all, Israelites, y'all gotta keep the commandments of God, you know what I'm saying? And you have that faith in Jesus Christ as well. Give me Revelations 14 to 12, right? What you hold it? Tobit 10. Yeah, get, so this is why y'all went into captivity, you know what I'm saying? Bring this out. This is the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. So it says, they, they that sin are enemies to their own life. Because when you do the history of the Northern Kingdom, Y'all niggas was in idolatry. Like, y'all serving hella other gods and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it says, you're an enemy to your life if you sin. Y'all know what sin is, according to the Bible? What's sin? Uh, hold on, hold on. Two. I can't read it, y'all. Come on, go closer. Two, the number of on to the number. Yeah, it's something, something bad, but y'all know the Bible say what sin is, though? Because the Bible tell you, like, all these terms that the, the Christian church use, it has a biblical definition in the Bible. But our people don't know that because we don't read. You know what I'm saying? Hold it. Keep me Revelation 1 and 3. Right? First John, uh... First John 3 and 4. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're there? Yeah. Alright, you can bring it up. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin... So who could, whosoever committed sin... Right? Y'all say sin is a bad thing. Right? Keep going. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Right? For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin... Is the transgressions of God's laws. You read God's laws in the first five books of the Bible, it's called the Torah. In the Paleo Hebrew tongue, it's called the Torah. It just means instructions, right? So, sin is if you do something contrary to the Torah, now you commit sin. For example, y'all eat pork. You say, hell yeah, that's it. <laughs> but, you, but you know that God, you know, you know God told us not to eat pork. But our people don't know that because we just start for lack of knowledge. Give me what you hold. You hold something? Uh, I got Romans 6 for a witness in the death. Uh, yeah, also yeah. got a uh, man wandereth out of his own way. Hold them. Give me uh, Leviticus 11. Right? Because God said we can't eat pork. Y'all eat like shrimp? The shrimp ain't crab and stuff like that too? I do, yeah. God told us not to eat that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, watch this. 11 and 11 and 7. 7. Yeah, bring it up. This is the book of Le Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, though he divided the hoof right. and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Right. He is unclean to you. Right. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall ye not touch. So God said, we're not supposed to even touch a pig, a dead pig, let alone eat him. So while we eat him, it's because we was conditioned in slavery. You know, they, they fed us pig and pork and stuff like that as the scraps and what we do we the best people on earth we just saw the, the bible tell us that the israelites are the start of the earth so whatever we get you know we're gonna make it a delicacy you know what i'm saying that's why y'all be making y'all the what, what it's called in spanish 
carnitas. Carnitas tacos, you know what I'm saying? I used to eat it too, you know what I'm saying? But coming into the truth, realizing that I was an Israelite, I had to stop doing the things contrary to the Torah and had to actually start following what God said, you know what I'm saying? Give me that, that Romans 6. Yeah, got 23, yeah, write it up. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Because we already established that sin is the, the transgressions of God's law, right? Watch this. For the wages of sin is death, uh -huh. but the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh Shai, our Lord. So the wages of sin, if you keep, if you, uh, you know, do a lifestyle of sin, the, at the end of that road is nothing but death. But if you keep the commandments of God and do what he actually tells us about following us the Torah, you know what I'm saying, then you'll get eternal life. Christ said, when you read Matthew 19 and 16, somebody came up to Christ, he was like, Christ, man, what I got to do, you know what I'm saying, to get to... To get eternal life, to get to the kingdom of heaven, Christ said you gotta you gotta keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? So after the day, Lord willing, I hope y'all brothers can put like the pork and the shrimp down. You know what I'm saying? And actually, actually read the Bible. Give me Revelation one to three, real quick. Revelation chapter one and verse three. Uh -huh. Blessed is he that read it. So this is the book of Revelation chapter one verse three. It says, "Blessed is he that read it." Right? Keep going. And they that hear the words of this prophecy uh -huh. and keep those things which are written therein. Right. For the time is at hand. For the time is at hand. Give me Romans 13 and 11. Right? So it says, bless the he that read it. So our people, all our people got, got Bibles in their crib and they're just collecting dust. And we don't read it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about that time because you see all these. Give me Matthew 24 about the rumors of war. We see all these uh, wars going on. And, and it's going to say, it say that. That's going to happen when Christ is about to, uh, to like, return, you know what I'm saying? So this is the time, that's why, like, if you go around all the country, you will see Israelites on the corner teaching the Bible because it's about that time for all people to wake up. Give me the, uh, what you, precept? What you got? Bring, bring it up. This is the words of Christ. This is the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 28. Uh -huh. Red letter. Uh -huh. But he said, rather, yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God yep. and keep it. So you gotta hear, so right now we bring out the words of God, we brought out Leviticus, you know what I'm saying, that, the dietary laws, certain things you can't eat. So Lord willing, after the day, y'all brothers gonna put the pork down, y'all brothers gonna put the shrimp down, cause it's hella other meat we can eat, no diddy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, you can eat uh, meat, chicken, lamb, goat, I don't eat goat, me personally, but it's, it's other, nigga, you can eat giraffes for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout the season, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. According to the Bible, you can eat giraffes. Rooster. Rooster, chicken, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who was eating in the wilderness? Uh, quail. You know what I'm saying? It's all type of alternatives other than what we was conditioned in slavery to eat, you know what I'm saying? So long with it after the date, y'all brothers could put the pork down, put the shrimp down, and actually start keeping these commandments, right? What you got? Yeah, right up. Hey, look, I'm gonna give y'all one more scripture, brother. Right? Right? Nah, give me that, uh, the Revelation 14. And give me Ecclesiastes 12. I'm gonna give y'all two more scriptures before y'all there, brother. Re Revelation chapter 14 and 12. Bring it up. Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep his commandments of God. So you have to keep the commandments of God, right? Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, right? Keep going. And the faith of Jesus. And you have to have faith in Christ. Y'all believe in Jesus. Y'all say y'all believe in Jesus. Like, so you got to have faith in Jesus and actually do what Jesus told you to do. Because when you read Luke 6 and 46, it say, why are you calling me Lord if you don't, you don't do the things that I tell you? Right? So keep it this. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the whole conclusion right. of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Why? For this is the whole duty of man. So this is our whole duty, bro. That's why we come out here week in and week out to teach our people, brother. Y'all be safe tonight, all right? All right, y'all Israelites, brother. Y'all from the tribe of this is called, man. Check out the YouTube, man. Y'all got flyers? I got, I get flyers. Check out the YouTube, bro. Oh, yeah, man. All praise to the Most High, man. That's why we come out here, man, to edify our people, dog. You feel me? Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Our people, give me John 4 and 22. Our people is so ignorant to the fact that we actually the, the chosen of God. When, like when, when you tell a nigga he's an Israelite, he be like, shit, all right, what that mean? What that mean? Nigga, you, you a Jew, you an Israelite, bro. You chosen of God. God only mess with you, bro. So why are you following the ways of the heathen? You know what I'm saying? Everybody say they believe in Christ, but they don't do what Christ tell them to do. That's, it's just crazy to me, right? Bring this out. St. John 4 and 22. Uh -huh. you, know, you worship, you know not what. Our people don't know what they worship. They thinking they worship a white man with brown hair, you know what I'm saying, who's a, a sodomite. You know what I'm saying? 
Christ is a whole black man when you read Revelation. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a he looks just like us, but darker and more mightier. He's our savior, bro. We gotta start doing what he tell us to do, son. It just don't make no sense. It be pissing me off. You know what I'm saying? All right, keep going on that. We know what we worship. We we, we know what we worship. We worship Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shah. Right? Uh, keep going. For salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is only for the Jews. You know what I'm saying? If all y'all niggas in the comments, bro, if you don't do the work, niggas, shut your ass up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Y'all be pissing me off, bro. Real talk. What you got? Break, yeah, bring this out. God, it's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Some of you niggas in the comments are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and y'all niggas really bugged out for real. You know what I'm saying? Keep going on that. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And the most high rejected y'all niggas. That's why he blew out y'all candles. Y'all niggas bugged out for real, right? Keep going. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of the God. And I will also forget thy children. And the most high forgot us because we forgot his holy law that he gave us, that we made a covenant with him in, uh, in a wilderness in Exodus, right? That's why he forgot us. You know what I'm saying? Bring this out. Isaiah 5 and 13. Bring it up. Therefore my people are going into captivity. Why? Because they have no knowledge. We have no knowledge. That's why we go into captivity that we go into. Give me Sirach 17 and 11. That's why we go into captivity after captivity because you stupid niggas don't have no knowledge. Y'all don't keep the commandments of God. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got that? Sirach 17 and 18? 17 and 11. 11 times. Yeah, bring that up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 17, verses 11. Right. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them knowledge, and which is what? The law of life. The law, keeping the laws of God, it give you life. So why the hell you don't want to keep it? That's why niggas dying in the street today. That's why we got our babies out here, you know what I'm saying, killing each other. Because you niggas don't keep the laws of God. That's why niggas sleep with each other wives, because you niggas don't keep the laws of God. You know what I'm saying? Keep going on that. Con. Read, read from the top again. Con. Besides this, he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life for a heritage. Right. He made an everlasting covenant uh -huh. with them and showed them his judgment. He showed us our, he, we, he show us his judgment. Give me Psalms 147. Is that what that is? 18, 19? He showed his word unto Jacob. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Psalms uh, 147. What you was holding? You holding yeah. that? Okay, Khan, Khan, yeah. Bring this out real quick. Yeah, Khan. Khan. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob. How you doing, brother? You believe in Christ? You believe in Jesus Christ? What you said? Believe in God. All right. All right, brother. Hey, you didn't know you're Israelite. You got to keep the commandments of God and have faith in Christ. You know what I'm saying? All people out here destroy it, bro. I think got to go to work. I'm just asking for two minutes of your time, son. That's all the niggas be asking for. I'm just trying to bring out some scriptures so I can get you edified. You know what I'm saying? Huh, right there? You know what I'm saying? She going, she going to slavery though, you know? What you, bring this off. You going? Shalom, shalom, I'm your boy Yai man, your friendly neighborhood of Yai Kwab, and we back at it like a bad habit. We back, we doing the work, you know, we got a lot of stuff rolling. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the videos. It's important, it's extremely important that y'all like, share, and subscribe to the videos. We get thousands and thousands of views, and it's always 100 likes, 200 likes. Man, you niggas like the video, man. It's free. Click a button, like the video. Lord, have mercy. We said this. Hey, man, listen. Shit, unless you've been living off the rock, we got a record label. So tap in with the record label if you want to see all the hot music. Music you heard on the intro. Hey, if you want more, follow Space City Records on all social media platforms. And also follow our Instagram, Safari Space City. With our Instagram, that's our best way to keep in contact with brothers. You know, we post shorts. You know, you want to catch location. Sometimes we might have to base on live. So make sure y'all follow our Instagram and also all our social medias as well. Besides the door, Shatar. Hey, man, we also got a TikTok. Space City, Safari Space City Israelites, okay? Follow the TikTok, like, share. We got shorts, all types of wisdom stuff coming out on the all right, Shalom, the priest, Nakawam, right? Niggas need to repent, right? Keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Give your tithes and offerings, right? So that, you know, we can travel and do more for the camp, right? Like the brothers were saying, we're doing this for y'all. Continue to, you know, strive for the kingdom, all right? Shalom. You're going to slave when God, when Christ comes back. That's right! 
You know what I'm saying? I'll save her. She what? Oh, all praise to the most high. That's yeah, for you, up. Right now, you know, man. all praise to the most high, man. She wants slavery. <laughs> she wants slavery. I have been some chains, you know, chain up, you know. Slavery to the black man? Please. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, you know, hey, she like that. Hey, you have like home people on the chain. You know, she like that, you know. But that's all the heathen though, you know what I'm saying? Well, bring this out. God. The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Uh -huh. He showed his word unto Jacob, right. his statutes, and his judgment unto Israel. Uh -huh. He has not dealt so with any uh, any nation. Uh -huh. And as far as his judgment, they have not known them. Pray, uh -huh. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, man. He, he showed his word unto Jacob and his judgments to Israel. He don't deal with, excuse me, he don't deal with the other nations. Give me um, Amos 3. Bring this out. The second answer is three, and I'm gonna go right to the point, verse 36. Uh -huh. It says, Thou shalt find that Israel by name right. have kept thy precepts, right. but not the heathen. The heathen don't keep the laws of God. The heathen don't know God. The heathen go serve the most high God through the Israelites in slavery and subjugated to us. You know what I'm saying? That's how y'all go serve our God. Y'all gonna bring y'all sacrifices to the Levites. You know they go do the they go do the sacrifices for y'all. But as far as that, nigga, y'all can't serve the Most High God directly. You know, the God not dealing with y'all. Even though he made y'all, he not dealing with y'all. He only dealing with the Israelites. Right, bring this out. Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1, Oh, Amos 3 and 2. Give me Joel 2 and 27. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 2. Huh? You, have I, you only have I known right. of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And that's why we go through everything we're going through, bro. That's why we're at the bottom. That's why we're suffering the curses of Deuteronomy 28. You know what I'm saying? Because he only he only punishes us, right? These other nations can do whatever they want to do and be straight. But when Christ come back and niggas actually get their judgment, bro, y'all got y'all got y'all got that cup coming to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Bring this out. This is Joel 2 and verse 27. Uh -huh. Bring it up. And ye shall know. That I am in the midst of Israel. Now nah, he in the midst of everybody. And ye shall know, know that I am in the midst of Israel. He in the midst of Israel, right? You going? And that I am the Lord your God, and uh -huh. none else. And he he's not the God of everybody else. You wanna know what the Most High God think of the other nations? Give me Second Edge six. Bring it out, huh? Give me Second Edge six. This is what the Most High God think of the other nations, because the Christian Church love to propagate that God love everybody, but the Bible don't say that. Show me why the Bible says God loves everybody. Hey, when, when Jesus Christ come back, all y'all going into slavery. That's right. That's right. Ooh, I can't wait. Give me Ezekiel uh, 66. Six, 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 six. Give me Isaiah 14. All right, bring this up. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 54. Uh -huh. Bring it up. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. So everybody come from Adam. Everybody know this, this is common knowledge, right? You going? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So everybody come from Adam, and also the chosen people come from Adam as well, right? You going? All this have I spoken before thee, uh -huh. O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. The Most High God made the earth and all the inhabitants of the earth for the Israelites, and that the Israelites ruled over, right? Keep going. We the, we the original Adamites, right? Keep going. It says, as for as for the other people, which also come of Adam. Like How y'all doing? Y'all doing good tonight? Hey, just know that y'all the Israelites, and y'all have to keep the commandments of God and have faith in Jesus Christ, all right? Y'all have a nice night. Right, keep going on that. As for the other people. Uh, as for the other people, the heathen, the actual bloodline Gentiles, right? Which also come of Adam. Uh -huh. Thou hast said that they are nothing. How you doing? You believe in Jesus Christ? I do believe in Jesus. You do? Give me, give me Isaiah. So, what? How do you feel about the enslavement of the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? How do I feel about what about it? The enslavement, like, uh, when Christopher Columbus came over here, he he killed. Right, right. You know, he murdered all the Indians and things of that nature. Yeah, what's your nationality? Do you mind me asking? American. American? Caucasian. Caucasian? Okay. Caucasian? okay. So how I do you don't feel? agree with it. I don't agree with it at all to answer your initial question. Okay. All right. All right. Because, you know, slavery is bad, right? But do you feel like um, anything has, like, has the people who did this to these people had any repercussions for their actions? Probably not proper repercussions. Right. So what do you feel should happen for that? 
I think that's up to God. Right. You know, God saying what's going to happen to that, to the people who I did that? I don't know. Can we read it? Yeah, of course. Right, I would love to Isaiah. be educated. Yeah. Isaiah 14. Hold on. Real quick. You got it? I right, bring it up. It's Isaiah 14, verse 21. So, so, all right, yeah, bring this up. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. So, you have to be, you know, read against a lot God, it says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So, basically, that scripture is saying that you have to bear the sins of your forefathers. You know what I'm saying? Jump to verse 1. Right, cause you feel like you believe in karma, like what goes around comes around. I don't believe in karma because I think that's a basis of another religion. I believe in Christianity and what the Bible says. So I believe in that so, God is who provides, you know, what comes to you in life right. on on earth and also where you where you come in the afterlife where you're actually met with everything they provided on earth. Right, so you believe earthly world. Right, so you believe what the Bible says. You think Galatians 6 and 7? Right? Because you say you don't believe in karma. But, you know, the Bible, it, it has some uh, similar to of what karma is. You know what I'm saying? Bring this up. Right. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. But you say you don't believe in karma. This is what the Bible says, right? Yeah, but karma, can somebody pull up what karma is? No, nah, no, nah, we don't got to talk about karma. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, we're about to read what the Bible says, right? Okay. Keep praying, though. Uh, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the same concept. You know, I don't believe in the karma. I believe in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Right about this. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. God is not mocked, right? Keep going. Whatsoever a man soweth, so whatever you sow it to the earth, that he shall also reap. It's going to come back to you. Yeah. Tenfold. You believe that? I do believe that. All right. That. So, you say you don't agree with that slavery under the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? No, I didn't say that. No, and I say you don't believe. Oh, you, you, I don't, you don't agree. agree with yeah, yeah, yeah. Upon in our right. Right, 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 right. So, let me read what the Bible say should happen for that. Because we already established that, you know, you have to bear the sins of your forefathers. Right? Bring this up. Isaiah 14 and 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So Jacob, uh, it will be, it's like a constituent of all the Israelites put together. Because that's our forefathers. That's who all okay. descend from. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. And will yet choose Israel uh -huh. and set them in their own land. So God, he's going to choose us and set us in our own land. Because we all agree that we came to America on slave ships, forcibly. You know what I'm saying, right? So when Jesus comes back, he's going to set us in our own land, right? Keep going. It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the strangers, everybody else outside of the Israelites is going to be joined with us in the kingdom of heaven. You, you, feel, you, you want to be in the kingdom of heaven, right? Right, so... Everybody's going to be in the kingdom of heaven, but you're going to have a certain role in the kingdom of heaven, right? Keep going. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Uh -huh. And a house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to do what? Possess them. So we're going to possess people in the kingdom of heaven, right? Keep going. And the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. What's another word for servant and handmaid? Right, so keep going on that. It says, and they shall take you captives, uh -huh. whose captives they were. So we was captive to all these other nations. So in God's eyes, we still haven't got justice. We still getting killed in the streets today, right? We still haven't got justice for that. So God says, whatever happened to the Israelites, because when you read in prophecy, we are the apple of God's eye. So if a nation touched the Israelites, you touching basically God for real. And you got to get what's coming to you, right? Keep going on that. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to rule over the people who had us in captivity. Give me uh, Revelation 2 and 26. What you know? the, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you believe that God knows your heart as an individual and as a child of his creation? Each give, me, give me Jeremiah 17 and 9. Yes, I, I believe God knows your intentions. God knows whatever you're going to do before... Before you, do you were ever even created, before you was even ex exactly before you was even born, God knew He wrote out, He wrote out a story from the beginning, and He already knew the ending. You know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. if you feel like you do something that you thought you were never gonna do, God already knew you was gonna do it, right? Bring this out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse nine. But you said God knows, you know, everybody's heart, right? This is what the Bible says about you know the, the hearts of men, right? Keep going. The heart is deceitful above all things. So the heart is deceitful above all things, right? 
and desperately wicked. So when people say, you know, God knows my heart, God said people's heart on earth is desperately wicked, right? They they are contrary to God's instructions that he gave the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Um, you had something? Can I ask you another question? Just oh, yeah, 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 kind of hold that. Yeah, what's good? What is y'all's purpose that you're serving right here, right now in this evening? So we are the Israelites, right? We are the, the people that you read about in the Bible. We descend from the people, and we can, we can uh, determine that through the curses of God that our people go through this day, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Let me show you this real quick, right? I got 15. 15? Yeah, right. So we believe that Jesus Christ is a black cook. When you read Revelation 1 and 14, it gives you the description of Christ. He had woolly hair, you know, his voice is the sound of many waters, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if it burned in furnace. So he was a, a loud black man, basically, right? So Christ is a black man, and Christ is our, basically our big brother. And he only came on the earth to die for the nation of Israel. That's what the Bible says, right? Bring this up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24, uh -huh. red letter. Right. But he answered and said, but he not, it's like it. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ, out his own, out his own mouth said, he didn't come for nobody but the children of Israel. Give me Acts 5 and 29, right? Because even after Christ's death, the apostles were still pushing that same message that, you know, uh, salvation is only for the Israelites, these people on the sign, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you were called today, so-called, right? Bring this on. This is Brother Acts, chapter chapter 5, verse 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, right. We ought to obey God rather than men. Well, you, you, you agree with that, that you, we ought to obey God rather than men. Right, right. Keep going. The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers, because everybody don't come from the same forefathers. Right, keep going. Raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hung on a tree. So the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hang on a tree, right? Basically, the Christian, Christian was hit, his, he hung him on the cross, right? Keep on. Him has God exalted. So God exalted Christ, right? Yes, he did. Okay, right, keep on. With his right hand to be prince and savior. To be a prince and a savior for who? For to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. If Christ died for everybody, why well, don't say everybody right here? You're a victim. Mm. Here we go. God but Christ out of his own mouth said he only came to die for the Israelites. Okay. Ultimate, That's where I ultimate. think probably we have a different agreement on what I mean, that was, that's what Christ said though. You, you don't, you don't agree with Christ? I'll go to church tomorrow morning and I'll learn more about it and I hope that it speaks to my heart. Y'all have a great night. I, I am here and, and support everything that y'all said, but I think we have a disagreement that's on that part. You know, you have, no, a, a, you have a, a entitlement to your own opinion, you know, but that's what the Bible said, you know what I'm saying? And but, I hope God bless you and I hope God bless myself. All right. Y'all have a great night. All right, you as well, right? What time it is? Hold on, let me read it. It's all good. Hey, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta be cordial with the heathen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta love them. <laughs> you gotta love them, you gotta love them. You gotta love them, man. It's all good. What you, what you had? Nah, no, it's good, it's good. Shit, yeah, with that, I'm gonna say, call the law, Yahweh, follow the Shemma Mashiach, I'm gonna lock you out shot, and I'm gonna say, Shalom. Shalom. Sakari. 1715, you already know what it is, nigga. It's Oscar Dar, the Hebrew heavyweight. Put shit on my plate if it ain't cold. That shit off my plate, nigga. Rest on the seventh day, that's just my culture. Get my phone. It's like, baby, I already done told you. Where my tassels on the way to the flow, yeah. Oh, Don't put shit on my plate if it ain't cold. Rest on the seventh day, that's just my culture. It's like, baby, I already done told you. Where my tassels all the way to the floor. Already know how it is. Trying to get my people to piff and they see it. When we do that, it's all back again. again. I promise you, it's gonna get bloody, man. When Christ come back, then it begins. We go in the world, we finna win. We hitting the block, we finna spin. Uh. We coming for blood, straight revenge. Esau, hold up the chin. Israel, we back. We taking everything. World is off. We can have anything. Heathen gon' bow. They finna reverence. We telling the world to keep the commandments. We taking the heathen. We pulling the molly So many jewels. A diamond menorah to in the new cup. We never sin again. Beautiful sister. Looking so heavenly, how many wives? Probably by 70, how many kids? Probably by 70.